Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Sravan and welcome to Start Pro Tips and Tricks Desk 18 video. In this video, I will explain you how to define the wind load by using Start Pro V8A software. And if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. So before applying the wind loading condition system, initially we need to measure the length of the building, width of the building as well as the height of the building. So now for defining the wind loading condition, we need to click on the general option so in that it will be consisting of loads and definition we have to select that particular option again we will select the definitions so select the wind definitions option here click on add button here so we need to add the type 1 wind 1 from this particular wind loading condition after that we have to select the type 1 wind 1 click on add button so now we have to calculate this particular intensity according to the height so i was already made that particular video how to calculate the wind load according to the height of the building by using manual method as per is uh, 875 2015 code you can follow that video but if you doesn't have any kind of the input regarding that particular is code provision you can calculate that particular value directly by using ac7 code click on this particular option so it will be consisting of three options like common data main building data wind design pressure so you can select the common data you can select the code and you can select the category wind terrain category according to which consideration and you can consider the speed of the wind so here i am selecting 44 meter per second exposure category will be of b structure will be of different kinds of the structures are there building structure i am selecting here click on apply option Again in the same process we have to select the second which is related to main building data. So here we have to enter the values related to length of the building, width of the building, height of the building. So height of the building I am assuming here as 18 meter according to my input and length of the building is 8 meter. Again I am selecting width of the building is approximately 12 meter here I am considering which is related to meter, meter and this is also in meter. So again click on apply option after this we have to select the wind design pressure so it will be consisting of windward pressure leeward pressure solid pressure you can select the windward which is nothing but the towards the building load so you can consider the cp value as 0.86 here click on apply option click on ok option so that it will add the intensity according to the specified height of the building so after that we have to click on add option again we have to add the exposure factor as one option here so after that we have to apply this exposure by using assign to view option select assign to view assign yes option so this is the process of applying the wind loading condition and defining the wind load by using stat pro v8i software and see you in the next class with another tip